So there's kind of two ways you can look at math. There's the like utilitarian way of like, what are the math things I needed to know for programming? Just because I want to do programming and there's math stuff I might want to know, right? And then there's also the like theoretical math people who are like, they really just like math. My assumption would be neither of those two types of people would be very happy with the kind of math curriculum. For the utilitarian people, it's like, I mean, look, I think I got through all of high school. Like we have, an, there's an entire year of quote unquote geometry. There's half a year of trig. It was like eight, algebra two trigonometry is like one year thing. I don't think a dot product or cross product were ever mentioned. Those are like the most fundamental things. If you want to start talking about geometry, like I have never in my entire like programming career really needed to know like the various geometry postulates for like proving two angles yeah. equal to each other. Like once in a blue moon, like one time, I think I sort of was doing a thing, like that, but I didn't really end up doing it that way because it was just you know, like, like, I don't really need to do that here because you tend to just use law of science, law of cosines, and you just work from there. You wouldn't go like, oh, is a SAS postulate here? What if, right? Like, so they spend a huge amount of time on stuff that you never will use. Or if you will use it, it's very rare and you could have just looked it up quickly. And no amount of time on the actual bread and butter. Like, how do we actually solve geometry problems? Like, we use all these other tools that were never mentioned, right? So from a, from a practitioner's point of view, it's basically four wasted years. They don't teach you that. They don't teach you basic concepts like what basis functions really are. Like the concept that like X squared versus X are just completely different basis functions. So like if you just have an equation like AX squared plus BX equals 5X squared plus 6X, you just know the answer immediately of what A and B are. Because x squared and x can't, they don't share, they're orthogonal is in a sense, right? They can't be used to recreate each other in any way. And so even though I'm, I'm not theoretically math knowledgeable, and I wouldn't even be comfortable saying that the term orthogonal was correct there, right? Like, <laughs> like a mathematician may come and correct me like, well, technically, we wouldn't say orthogonal, we would say this, right, or whatever. But from a practitioner's perspective, those are the, that's the most critical way to think about these things. Like thinking about how to solve the quadratic equation and doing it manually are absurd things to be spending weeks of a math class on when you never taught someone how to think about just the fundamental ways in which these things interact. And furthermore, from a modern perspective, when we think about computing, when we think about things like sines and cosines and uh, like how we deal with transcendental functions, the basic core concepts of like, how do those things get evaluated? Never mentioned. Our teachers would never have known. Like they wouldn't have known things like they don't know what like Pate coefficients are or something. Like I, maybe they had them, someone mentioned them once in some college course, right? But they wouldn't know that these are like the most important foundational things that you could teach someone in a modern practitioner context. So in a way, it's like, I'm pretty sure that a theoretical mathematician would come along and say, yeah, these four years were garbage because you didn't learn any theory, right? Like, I don't know what a division ring is. I still have no idea. So it wasn't like they set you up for that, right? And they definitely didn't set you up for a practitioner because that I can say from experience, I had to learn all of it after like every last little bit of it, right? Um, and the way that they focused on the things uh, and, and how they were taught and where they chose to spend their time was completely opposite of, you know, going back to it now and saying, computing is how we do math now. If you're going to be a practitioner, these are the things you really should be focusing on. Almost everything they actually taught me was a fringe, was fringe stuff that, you know, I'm not saying it's bad. Like, there's never math that's bad to know. It's not, it's not bad to know like how to prove two angles congruent, but if you were looking at how am I going to spend this year efficiently to teach the general population things they might need to know when they're going into these fields, it was all backwards. It's like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to don't do any of this this way. Like, here's what you actually should be focused on, because this is what people need to know first and foremost. And then if you have spare time, sure, angle congruence, no problem. Like. It might be nice to do a couple of days on how did we prove the law of cosines or something like that, right? 
Sure. But that shouldn't be a year of thinking about how to prove angles congruent and no discussion of critical things uh, like, you know, or like, you know, or okay. how to orthogonalize a vector or, you know, like how to orthogonalize a basis system or things like that. Those are way more important. Right. Yeah. Um, and just as simple. Uh, they're not more complicated. They're, it's just a different avenue. So I guess that's what I mean by the math curriculum being bad. I, and, and I don't know, like, are other areas better? I went to a pretty good high school by high school standards in the U.S. Its placement rate into places like Ivy League universities and things like that or colleges in general was very high. So it wasn't like my high school was, like, really bad and, oh, if you just went to the good high school, it better. So I think it was pretty representative of what the average math curriculum would be. If anything, it might have been slightly better than the average math curriculum, and it was still garbage. 